And Trump plays on this. This is how he benefits. His aggrieved, you know, way of approaching everything. Um, and this will just add to that. And I guarantee you, after this decision, you'll see his poll numbers go up. This guy gets every break in the world. You know, this is this is helping him in the near term. Now, all this stuff hurts him and hurts the country in the long term. And I've been saying that all the way through the campaign. All the criminal charges against him have helped him in the near term. But it's going to hurt him in the long term because he's going to jail. And I'm telling you as a former U.S. attorney who ran the fifth largest office in this country for seven years, when your former chief of staff signs an immunity agreement, that means two things. One, he committed crimes and is admitting he committed crimes because you don't need immunity if you haven't committed crimes. And secondly, he's going to testify that Donald Trump directed him to commit crimes and committed crimes himself. Because there's no way that a prosecutor's office in a high-profile case like this gives immunity to someone as high-ranking as Mark Meadows unless he had evidence that no one else could give him and that was corroborated. And I suspect it's corroborated by text messages and emails that Mark Meadows was sending at the time and that only Mark Meadows had possession of. Voters in New Hampshire have to think about that. This isn't about some... I don't like the other side, so I'm going to vote for the person they hate the most test. I mean, and that's the way, I, I have to tell you, I have been astonished by some of the people I've run into in New Hampshire who just don't want to hear it. Mm. They just, like, you start to tell them, they, they literally, I had one woman one time just cover her ears <laughs> when I started to talk to her. Because they know it's the truth but they just don't want to deal with it. Our campaign is about telling the truth. Our campaign slogan is because the truth matters.